Well, as you can see, I've got over an hour wait time for my final rendered project to come out. So, yeah, it takes a bit of time, but it's worth it. Um, hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you enjoy this one as well. Please subscribe, like, share. Once the video is done rendering, you notice at the bottom, right where it says remove job or clean up. The best way I like to do this is just go ahead and click, click clean up. That removes the job from the uh, window. It's pretty much cleaned it up. And then go to close. Noticing I still have the initial video still in my video editing program. Now, obviously I can click save before I close. Noticing it's going to tell you where you want to save it and you can label the one that you say if you so desire. After rendering the video, you can then go to your Kendall Live folder, if that's where you saved the video. Once you find the video, double click it, of course, and uh, this is, bring uh, it up and play it. This is a red feather from Grepax, actually. Um, the purpose of this video is to show you how to... So as you can see, the video has been rendered out, playing in my video player. If this was totally finished, I could then up, just upload it directly to YouTube. YouTube cooperates beautifully with uh, Caden Live. I just wanted to point out, while uh, when, you, but when you go to render, if you space your uh, words out in your, in your save title, when you go to upload to YouTube, your title will be spaced out perfectly and you won't have to make any alterations there. As well as you might as no, might have noticed, or, or if you uh, take, can take notice real quick, I changed my encoder threads to two, meaning uh, dual processors. Most computers do run with dual processors these days and it seems to be quite effective. Uh, yeah. This has been another uh, Grephax original. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you share, like, and also subscribe to our channel. I mean, there's going to be plenty more good videos coming along. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.